This whole area was really conceived and developed by the automotive industry, specifically General Motors and the Fisher Brothers. Well, the biggest challenge, of course, was trying to deal with the vacancies that were left when General Motors moved down to the Rensen. The state consolidated numerous downstate offices to fully occupy the old General Motors building, which is now called Cadillac Place. They also own the Argonaut building, uh, just immediately south of the General Motors building, and General Motors was able to work a deal out with the College for Creative Studies, who is now under construction to expand their Midtown campus uh, and also now have a new center campus which will house a graduate school, 300 units of student housing, uh, and also to put in a middle and high school, charter schools in fact, geared towards graphic and industrial arts. So it's conceivable that someone could uh, start in middle school and go through high school into undergrad and all the way through graduate school in the, in the, creative, in the creative fields without ever leaving the building. I'd have to say it does at this point have the strongest retail profile of any greater downtown neighborhood. A lot of the retail is in lobbies of large commercial buildings. The Pure Detroit folks opened a store here several years ago. Uh, the council's working on renovating storefronts along Woodward Avenue. We do have the Motown Museum. We have the Fisher Theater. So on a seasonal basis, we have a lot of nighttime offerings. There are many bars and restaurants in and near New Center. Of course, we do the Comerica City Fest every year, which is a five-day blast of the type of uh, life that we're trying to create here all year round. I mean, I think New Center has value because of its history, first of all. Number two, because of its physical attributes, mostly architecture. In this lobby, I see people from Germany and Finland and Japan on a regular basis taking tours of this building. You could probably build a 20-story building for the cost of just this lobby nowadays. Light rail will help expedite, I think, and clear up the confusion about what's different between the districts, and I think that's finally going to happen. So I think that if you add that all up, it has value. So our job is to try to make it as valuable as we can with what we've got and become a viable, tax-paying, crime-free, enjoyable place to live, work, and play.